extra, extra. Read all about it. <laughs> Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Please help the ch channel grow and um, by clicking below. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get the uploads every single week. You'll get notifications because I make a new Libra video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, you can get notified when I upload them. Libra, this is your oracle card reading. The oracle card reading is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So it picks on all picks up on all different kinds of Libra energies um, and condenses it into some major themes and issues that we could confront and, and take notice of. Uh, I do provide an extended reading, which is a full tarot card spread that articulates these energies. And it goes into details and really personalizes and, and specifies um, different kinds of points. So that also includes a romantic tarot card reading, like the romantic specific tarot card reading. So that information um, and that link is below. All right, Libra, let's get into this reading. Ooh, Libra, 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 Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. I, you know what? It's interesting, this energy that's coming from you. Um, it's just interesting this energy that's coming from you. It's like, it's like you're trying to hold back and you don't want to say what's on your mind because there's a little bit of a B, kind of BS that you're getting sick of all around. Like it, like people are saying things, but not thinking first. Um, they're not using their brains before they use their mouths. You're getting really irritated by it. And I know that you really love to be pacifist. Like you need to pacify things. I know that that is something that is important to you, but you're getting very close to just basically um, not tolerating it anymore. I'm trying to get your crowning energy, Libra. We have your some energies out here. Oh, I love my puppy. She just snuggled between my feet. All too subtle, all too subtle. Mommy's not paying enough attention to me. Uh, okay. Um, so let's, or maybe there just needs to, something needs to be said, Libra. Something has to do with communication here. Just, just about, about to blow. About to blow. What is this crowning energy for Libra, please? Things are coming out the back end, the front end. Nothing is really flipping over. No, that's too much. Absolutely not. No. Ooh, there you go. So, excuse me. The theme, the, okay, the crowning energy is collaboration, is working together, or it's you and another person, it's partnership. So that is very much your energy. Um, Libra, this is the energy of collaboration, um, working to put something together. But but it doesn't negate the, what I said in the um, channeled reading. Um, all of the anxiety you're feeling is based on the connection or interactions between you and other people. This focus on almost not liking what you see in a specific collaboration, in the way that people are treating each other or the way that people are working together or the way that people maybe aren't helping each other or the way that people are. Um, th there's just an energy here that you don't trust. You see a falsehood, you see a falseness, you see a sense of, um, um, uh, something looming underneath the surface that can't be trusted. This is about connectivity. People are, people are putting together point A to point B. People are assembling things. People are putting things together that you don't really trust. It's like maybe the real building we don't really see. The real building and the people who are really constructing things are not who they're putting out front kind of energy. I know that sounds really crazy and paranoid, but time to collaborate. Um, it's really time to get yourself together and it's really time to ta uh, take on, uh, it's like you need, you want to find somebody who has a like mind as you. It's like you want to find that person who has a clear mind, who you don't have to pretend around, who you don't, you don't have to put on any airs or falsehoods when you're in their presence. It's like, where is the true collaboration? There's such a pressure all the time for you to figure out how to work with everybody. And it's just, you, you, you want something coming from the other side. That's, that's the, that's the thing. There's something here about falsehood though, about, about, 
um, not trusting how people not it's almost like you don't trust two people getting together like let's let's put it that way let's let's whittle it down to the most basics two people are getting together and it's putting up red flags it's like why all of a sudden are they interested in each other why all of a sudden are they like like working together like you you almost feel that there's something a little bit shifty or shady happening now is a lucky time this is an energy of multiplying your value of of, t of being able to um take what you have and make much more of it than it started out as uh, energy of nine plus four is 13 one plus three is four really grounding energy so finding value in what you already have in the abundance that's already in your life like finding abundance that's already there in your life this could also be pregnancy getting together um um making two becoming one <laughs> like this is the rabbit this is the bunny energy uh let's keep reading though B, sweet results await. So yeah, this could be finding out that there's a pregnancy. I'm not sure that you're happy about it or that you wanted it, but there's this unexpected pregnancy. You've been working on something, something that you've been working on, a project that you've been working on is coming to fruition and you're starting to basically lap in the honey of it. Um, almost like maybe even an escape from, from your everyday, an escape from... An escape from those partnerships that are making you uncomfortable and getting you away from sort of that uh, acidity elsewhere and being able to really delve into the work that you're doing, the work and the partnerships at work being something that's um, coming to a great deal of fruition for you, really believing in the things that you're putting together and building. This is the energy of creation. Um, so this is definitely creation. If you have been struggling, I say this right now, uh, if you've been struggling with um, getting pregnant, expect there to be a baby on the horizon. I'm just letting you know. Um, claim your independence. One plus three, this is other also the energy of four. Um, uh, yeah, this is falling on your feet. Like, 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 um, landing on your feet. So, uh, taking space, taking space, uh, being very aloof, maybe even more aloof than normal. Um, I almost see, I, I know this is weird, but I almost see, well, you, I almost see you looking at a partnership between two people and you seeing it work out so well and you being very, you being, being very angry that it's working out so well because you don't trust it and your instincts told you from the very beginning it wasn't something good, but you just keep seeing something work out. It gets better and better and better and you're getting angrier and angrier and angrier because it's counter, it's making you almost doubt your intuition. Like, well, but, but it, has, it has to be bad because I felt like it was bad. Why is it so great? It looks so great, it looks so wonderful, but you still feel like keeping your distance from it, which is really interesting. Truth transcends illusion, um, 22 adding up to four. You have a lot of fours here. So a lot of protective energy, defensive energy, trying to defend something, defend something that matters to you or being divinely protected by angels. You wanna feel the earth under your feet. You wanna feel security and certainty. This is grounded energy of just reality, truth. It's like, it's like you're watching people with their head in the air and... Um, I'm sorry, with their head in the clouds and you're, you're, you're in some ironic twist of fate trying to bring them down to earth and back down to reality. Why? Because that's the truth. There's a truth here that you are being the messenger for. Bring a gentle touch, dear spirit. This is adding up to nine. So something coming out, something like feelings, ten tender feelings, gentle feelings, delicate feelings. This could be, or this could be the energy of somebody who wanted to say something or loved somebody but didn't say it. And now it's being revealed how they really feel. Um, um, and it could very well be you or somebody that you know. It's like, maybe I didn't get a chance to tell somebody how much I love them. And that's why I'm not as happy as I should be that they're in a new partnership because now they're with somebody else and I'm really pissed. Maybe I'm still single and they're not or they're single and they're looking at your due partnership like what the f is going on here. Like like there's some sort of real disappointment and sadness and upset here uh, about tender emotions, about, about falling in love, 
um, maybe not being able to fall in love with the person that you wanted to fall in love with. And then we have this energy of magic works through you. This is Cancerian energy. Five plus two is also the energy of seven. So working at something, making a decision to manifest something and choose something, making a decision maybe to finally choose to openly love somebody, even if it seems like they're really getting on and loving somebody else, you can't hold it back or you can't keep it to yourself anymore. Or maybe you experience this coming in from somebody else, like somebody finally admitting that they loved you, even though you are just announced that you're about to have your first child with your spouse type of energy. Like, like people take my readings really literally and it irritates me because I give metaphors that are 100% there to represent or demonstrate the energy, not specifically tell you line by line what's going on in your life. Okay. These are metaphoric and these are energies that I'm discussing with you. If you want a line by line, a specific to your life, I do do personal readings and that information is in the description box below. Um, sometimes life stings. Yeah, this hurt you. This is something that's been getting to you and bugging you. And look, there's two bugs right here. This is literally making a decision to go and do something about what's been bothering you. Um, figure out that you are capable of healing yourself, that you're capable of making your own world better. The energy of seven, creating, making, making something, and then six plus four, ending something, bringing something to a conclusion that's been bothering, bothering you or bugging you. It's been getting at you. It's nagging underneath your skin. You, this could have something to do with the wild we, uh, world wide web, but I feel like this is more your energy to catch the mosquito, to keep the mosquito out, to block it and not let it get in and not let it keep biting you. This is your grounding energy now, Libra. Dream the world into being. Eight plus three is the energy of 11. So awakening to the truth and reality and realizing where the zombies are, realizing where the ghosts are hidden and how they're blocking you from moving forward. And then think on your feet. Seven plus two is also nine. Something coming to a conclusion, something coming to an end, maybe a realization. Um, this is the um, chaotic energy of... Sagittarius. So nothing is set in stone and everything is flying around and twirling around you and learning how to live in that moment and feel good about it. Learning how to improvise and not expect. And then last but not least, the abundant universe will provide with Buffalo spirit. So this is taking a firm stance, um, uh, also 10 energy of completion, something be becoming official or being, being realized. Um, um, uh, this is Taurus energy, so it speaks of 3D finances or value, money coming in, or once again, you having everything that you need or being provided it as soon as you need it, if you can improvise and see where the landmines are. This is like the landmines. It's like feeling, figuring out how to be like that scurrying little lizard that can skim over even water so that he doesn't make them explode. But, but identifying where they are, learning how to improvise through the situation and using what you have very wisely, all being this grounding energy for you. And I do feel like in some strange twist of fate, you have this, you have this uh, energy of wanting to be grounded because you got a lot of fours in the main reading. So this is an energy of this isn't real, almost like fighting. This is your central energy, right? Illusion. Truth transcends illusion. I'm tired of the fantasy. I'm tired of the, the crazy what ifs. I'm tired of the misinformation and I'm tired of like, I'm tired of, of living a lie or not in the truth. I want the truth to come out. I'm so done watching things play out in front of me that are all about bullshit, that are playing out because, um, oh my God, people are winning, like, I don't know, like people are winning awards when they don't even deserve them. Like, you know, like people walking at home with Grammys who can't even sing. Like, like that kind of, that kind of thing. You know, it's, it's almost like you're seeing that play out in your real life. Why is this, these collaborations going on? Why are these things happening? There's so much abundance and prosperity and I'm sitting here looking at it like, but it's shit. So why is it all happening? The truth is about to come out. Like this is, this is, or your truth. You actually finally 
like all this pent up energy inside of you, not really being happy, not really being pleased, uh, being maybe even, I don't want to say jealous, but pissed, angry, you being upset. It's like, it's like trying to play, like you're tired of, of pretending that everything is okay when it's not essentially. And it may just be not okay for you. You know what I'm saying? It, but but that's a truth too, isn't it, Libra? This is dealing with and owning your own irritation. And now everybody else will know it too because you're tired of pussyfooting around so that everybody else can be able to make merry when you're not even happy they're happy. That's just the truth. This is... Um, really, I think, reassessing who do you actually want to be around? Who's actually going to make you happy? It wasn't the people that you originally thought it was. This is almost like shifting and changing your friends, your friend group, your friends, uh, the people that you want to be around or the people that you're working with, because there has been a yes, 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 I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You didn't want to do it. You didn't want to do it. Like, it's like, constantly fighting against this sense of, but I have to do it to make things work. I have to work with this person. I have to work with that person. I have to make it work. I don't even like that person. I don't even like this person. This is, um, who, this is the energy of sort of being exhausted, exhausted by seeing other things happen in front of you that don't make you happy, even though you tried to pretend you were happy. Um, I think this is this. Yeah. Hold on. You know what? Let me flip the camera around. You can see the cards. Hold on. Okay. Needing to really feel the ground under your feet. The, this is, these are beautiful cards though. It's like, it's like not necessarily prioritizing money, but, but basically learning, like, in other words, in terms of not taking risks, it's interesting. It's like, it's almost like you, you, you're grounding yourself in taking risks. You're grounding yourself, which is because the biggest risk for you would be to risk um, people not wanting to work with you, right? Um, this is an energy of it doesn't matter because what has to come out is the truth. And you basically being the delivery system for what is real partnership? How should we really be collaborating and bringing the facts together? And um, what 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 um, one plus one should we is really adding up to two? Why do people keep saying it's adding up to four just because that's what they're told? One plus one really adds up to two. So it's not that you're against collaboration. It's you're against the wrong people collaborating for the wrong reasons. Interesting. I'm going to take this over to the extended Libra. Um, see how that plays out. And then I'll also do your love reading too. Link is below. I'll see you guys over there.